Hello everyone! Today I have for you my very first 12 days of Christmas video. So I'm featuring different um, stamp companies that I love and of course if you know me and if you've been following me for a while I love Mama Elephant so I thought it would be fitting to pick a Mama Elephant stamp set and I'll be using the little gingerbread agenda paired with the everything nice sentiment and the scene builder stamp set. I also brought in a Mama Elephant tri-window cover die and the Lawn Fawn Let It Shine Snowflake 6x6 paper pad and I already picked two pattern papers which are the silver gold foil gold foil snowflakes and then a white pattern paper with many little snowflakes but there's no uh, gold foiling on there now I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring and the first thing I did is I'm coloring the mountains and I'm using C5 as my darkest color and then my mid-tone color is C3 and what I'm doing is I just outlined the snow cap and then went under that and dragged it down a little bit with my C3 and then for my lightest color I picked C1. Now if the mountains are tucked behind I put a little uh, line on the sides of it so then it'll just look like a shadow and then now we're going to color the trees and then my darkest color is YG67 and I decided to uh, color the top part of each tree and also where the uh, scallop lines are with my darkest which is YG67. Now I came up with the colors doing a Pinterest Pinterest <laughs> search because I'm still um, quite new to color combos with the Copic marker so I like to use Pinterest for inspiration as far as color combinations and this one it um, said YG67 and then YG17 and YG13 so I just typed in like Christmas tree Copic combos you know stuff stuff like that and if I don't have like a certain color I'll find something that's very similar to it so like for the gingerbread man you'll see me color later on I'll be um, coloring that with um, the closest marker that I could find to what was suggested on Pinterest. So then for the mid-tone, I'm taking in YG17 and these Christmas trees are looking really, really good. And then for my lightest, I picked YG13. Now I didn't have to go over these uh, trees and mountains or my gingerbread twice because um, I think I got a pretty good coverage and a pretty good uh, blending so I really like how they turned out and I'm pretty satisfied with the um, the coloring and then now we're gonna go ahead and color the gingerbread men and these are the mama elephant little gingerbread agenda and it actually comes with um, 12 gi no not 12 for 16 gingerbread and then other accessories um, I just went ahead and picked five of the ones that I thought were super cute and adorable and I really love like this one's my favorite right here this a gingerbread um, with the string of lights and the hat with a star so I picked him first and I'm just the first thing I did was I colored it with my uh, Y02 and Y08. I went over that first with Y02 and then Y08. Just kind of like a little shadow on the side. And then so for the gingerbread, I'm sorry I kind of um, went off subject there. Um, so my darkest is E47 and then my midtone is E37 and then my lightest is E33. So I went ahead and colored the first one just to see how it would look like and I was pretty satisfied with that. And now I'm going to go over it with my midtone which is E37. And as you can see, it is looking pretty dark right there. But then when I take my E33, I'm just going to drag the darkest colors from the outline and just keep blending that in until it looks uh, pretty blended and seamless. And 
and as it dries it'll get lighter so don't be scared when it's like super super dark um, because it when it does dry it will get lighter and I was really loving this uh, brown tone on the gingerbread it looks like a nice crispy gingerbread man <laughs> And so now we're going to take the red. Um, I do love traditional colors for Christmas. Um, that's how I tend to decorate at my house with traditional colors. Although I love non-traditional colors on my cards. Um, such as like I love the purples and the pinks, the greens, you know, the light pistachio greens or something like that. But like for the home, I really do love traditional uh, Christmas colors. So what do you guys decorate with? Do you like to decorate with traditional colors or do you have a theme going on in your house? So, all right. So I went ahead and uh, finished coloring my gingerbread images and now I'm just taking my Spectrum Noir glitter pen and I'm adding some shine to my mount my snow caps and then the trees and then I kind of squeezed it too much so as you can see there earlier um, it kind of um, I went overboard with the glitter but that's okay you know um, we're not perfect here we're creating art and you know this is one of the best things about making cards is that you know it doesn't have to be perfect so I went ahead and die cut the holiday hugs from the everything nice sentiment um, I embossed that with silver uh, embossing powder and I'm just kind of going for the silver theme here and then I went ahead and die cut my uh, pattern papers with the window cover from mama elephant and what I'm doing here now is I took my mountains and my trees and I'm just putting it on those rectangular panels that will be inset in the um, window cover panel that you see there so that's how it's gonna look it fits perfectly like a puzzle nothing is sticking out and now I'm just gonna go ahead and be generous with my uh, adhesive there and I'm gonna carefully place that and then now we're gonna go ahead and place our uh, light snowflakes now remember these snowflakes inside the panels do not have the gold foiling on it and the extras from the die cuts that I have I did create another card very similar to it except I just uh, mirrored the image so everything is the opposite side if that makes any sense so now I'm just placing my gingerbread man where I want them to go and I'm really loving this placement you guys especially the balloon with the gingerbread like flying off with the balloons it's so cute and I love the fonts on the holiday hugs like I have to say this this is like my most favorite uh Christmas sentiment uh stamp set yet for mama elephant I just love the the font I love the little uh, sayings where you can make little sentiment strips like some of it it says super big hugs enclosed with all my love just a little gift from all of us to all of you hope this card brings you a smile it's just so cute and I love the scripty little fonts so I did pop up three of the snow I mean three of the gingerbread men with some foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension and then now I'm going to add five snowflake snowflakes for my stash and these are just white snowflakes white glossy snowflakes and then I'm going to adhere those with my glue dots so that um, I don't have to worry about it falling off with a glue or something like that and then so I'm just carefully placing it where I think you know it's pleasing to my eye and then I'm taking some of these um, I think it's called uh, clear baubles um, it has a flat back but it's clear and then I'm just going to add some glue on top of my snowflake I use the lawn fawn and it does dry clear and I'm just going to put it in the center of my snowflake and you guys tell me what do you think I am so happy with how this card turned out it's so cute so I'll be posting a Christmas card 
series 12 days of Christmas up until the 25th so you might see vid coloring videos you know from different stamp companies two or three times a week for me. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. I hope you enjoyed this process video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.